Today we're making french fries and we're not using potatoes. We are using jicama. So if you want to cut your carbs, eat a little bit healthier, incorporate more vegetables in your life, then you stay tuned and watch this video and we'll tell you how to do it and all the benefits right after our chef joke. All right, so I'm going to start off here with chef joke number one. Uh, chef joke number two will be just a little bit later, so stay tuned for that. All right, so what do the french fries do when they meet up after a long time? They catch up. So what is a jicama? Some of you may not know. Well, it's this right here. This is a root vegetable originally from Mexico. Now, it grows on a vine, but only the root part, this part, is edible. So don't eat the leaves if you decide to grow this on your own, let's say in your garden. Don't eat the leaves, the beans, or any other part, just this, because the other parts are toxic. So why bother with jicama? Why should we eat it? Well, it contains a great amount of fiber in it, six grams per cup, which is very good. And it's also a type of fiber that's called insoluble fiber or inulin. And that passes through your digestive tract undigested. And it goes into your colon and it feeds the good bacteria. So think of it like a fertilizer that you're just putting all over your good bacteria and it helps it to flourish and keep you healthy. Hickam is also loaded with vitamins and minerals. There are, you know, there's magnesium, there's folate, there's zinc, there's vitamin Bs, there's vitamin C, there's a ton of that actually. And it's pretty amazing because, you know, jicama is a white vegetable, right? And usually you think of colorful vegetables as having the most nutrition. Well, this little guy is a powerhouse for sure. And it's also very low uh, in sugar, so it's great for a low-carb snack and it won't spike your blood sugar. So how do we use jicama, right? You're probably wondering. You could just peel it because you have to peel it first before you can eat it and cut it into little strips or even chip size, you know, little chunks that you could use and eat raw or you can use it for a dip. You know, it's great substitute for, say, potato chips. And uh, you could also use it in a stir fry. It will stay crunchy unless you cook it, you know, substantially. It's going to stay kind of crisp. I know that Trader Joe's sells the little tortillas. They're just nice little shapes about, about that big. And you can fill them with whatever ingredients you want, roll them up, and you've got a great snack. I've also heard that you could make mashed jicama like mashed potatoes. I haven't tried that yet, so that might be a, a, a video coming out in the future. Let me know if you're interested in that by leaving me a comment down in the description. Today we're gonna make french fries, which means we're gonna have to cook these a little bit so that they're not quite so crunchy. And we'll, we'll show you all that. In fact, let's get into that recipe right now. So to start off here with our french fries, I'm gonna take my jicama and I'm gonna cut off the two ends. So I would use a nice sharp knife for that. Now, some people like to take a potato peeler and do that. I, like, I just like using my knife, so that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to cut this in half. And then I'm just going to take my knife and thinly just peel off the skin. One nice thing about jicama, if you decide to eat it raw, is that it does not oxidize and turn brown, which makes it great if you want to serve it at a party, for example, and just set it out. So from this point, you can do, you know, pretty much however you want to slice it. I'll, I'll take it this way and I'll cut it. It's not quite a half an inch, but it's about maybe a quarter of an inch, depending on the size of your french fries. Just try to make them all uniform. You want something like this. Now place your fries into a saucepan and cover them with some water. And place these on the stove and boil them for 10 minutes. I'm gonna put a cover on it, a lid, so that that way it'll boil quicker and we can get this going. Once they begin boiling, you can remove the lid. Once the jicama is done boiling for 10 minutes on the stove, then you're gonna to wanna to pour it into a strainer or a colander and drain out all the water and let it cool for about five or 10 minutes or so. And then we're gonna place it onto some either paper towels or a nice clean dish cloth to absorb as much of the liquid or water that we possibly can so that they will cook up nicely and crisp up in the oven. All right, our jicama has been draining and cooling off here. So I'm gonna take it and place it into my my bowl here so that we can add our spices and you kind of you know you can feel it it's relatively dry and that's what you want 
What we're going to add here first is some olive oil. And I'm going to drizzle in probably a tablespoon or so. You just want to be able to coat all of the pieces so that the spices will stick. And once we have the olive oil mixed in, we're going to add a little bit of salt, garlic powder, and I'm going to use some smoked paprika. Well, like I said, you could use cayenne pepper, you could use uh, chili powder. So I like to put some on and then toss it a little bit and then put a little more on so that I get it mixed everywhere. So a little more salt. garlic powder, and a little more smoked paprika. And then we'll give this one final toss. Add a little parchment paper to your baking sheet so that it makes cleanup nice and easy. And then place your fries in the pan. I usually just line them up and I want a little bit of space between them so that they don't steam and they actually roast and will get a little bit crispy. Alright, we're going to place these in a 425 degree oven for somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes depending on how brown you want yours and maybe how crispy you want them to be. And uh, we're going to turn them over about halfway through the cooking time. So I'll, get it, I'll use a pair of tongs and just flip them over. Okay, are you ready for chef joke number two? Here we go. Did you know that French fries were not first cooked in France? They were cooked in Greece. <laughs> Here's our fries after 15 minutes. Now it's time to turn them over. Tongs work great for this. Our fries are done. I cooked them for about 40 minutes and you can see here how nice and, you know, toasted up they look. So I'm going to pour them into my dish here, hopefully. And you can serve these up plain or with any kind of dipping sauce, ketchup, whatever, you know, whatever you like. They're still a little bit hot. This is the best time to eat them. You know, if you want to keep them overnight, then you're going to have to reheat them in the oven to kind of help crisp them up again. So let me give these a taste. Still hot. They still have that nice little crunch, much softer than if we had not boiled them in the water. These are truly delicious. They have that slight sweetness to them. They make a great alternative to regular french fries. I hope you give them a try. If you're enjoying this low carb and healthy recipe, you might want to check out my roasted radishes recipe that we cook in the oven. It will remind you of roasted potatoes. They are so delicious and I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you and smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks again. We'll see you next week for another rockin' recipe.